What's up, YouTube? Um, this video is all about the new Capture One 22. They have come up with a new version that uh, incorporates HDR merging. I already done a test with this one. This is Lightroom. And this is Capture One. Um, as you can see, there is a slight difference on it, but it's just little things that you can uh, fix in post later on, little by little. But I wanted to show you the beginnings of it on how to do it. And uh, let's see if we can find some noise and our other things. Um, I believe that this is is pretty cool. The only thing that I don't like is that you cannot do batch. You cannot do batch processing like uh, Lightroom does. But uh, this is a great utility if you're already using Capture One and uh, you have gotten out of using Lightroom, this is a great option because it does a good job. So let's go here. I'm in Lightroom right now, and this is flat out normal camera, camera neutral, a shot. I don't want to change anything. Just leave it at 4850 white balance. As you can see, all my other brackets, i um, going to go through them. It is 4850, 4850, so they basically are the same. There's no vibrance, uh, no saturation. Um, I went lens correction is my lens that I use. And uh, I'm going to go to Capture 122, and it's exactly the same thing. Um, as you can see here, I left it as is. I can change it to 4. 48 50 but uh, I'm just gonna leave it as the way capture one uh, said online just you don't need to do any processing you don't need to do anything just leave it as is so I have here my DA 50 Nikon DA 50 I have the curve is auto normally I work with shadows as you can see it does an amazing job but like they said is just to leave it as auto I have my lens here, chromatic aberration, just like on the Lightroom. And now I'm going to select all of the files, right? One, two, three, four, five. Um, they also said that um, they do a much better job if you just have three bracket exposures, uh, minus two, zero, and plus two. But, you know, might as well just test out five brackets it doesn't hurt anybody as you can see one it's really bright and one is dark and now I'm in Lightroom it is exactly the same thing dark and then the really bright um, so now I'm going to right click on this guy and I'm gonna merge this is Lightroom. Uh, I'm sorry, this is Capture One. And I'm going to auto adjust and auto align and merge. And as you can see here, 10 seconds. And now I'm going to go to Lightroom. I'm going to go here for the merge HDR. And Lightroom will do its thing. And I'm going to click on auto align and auto settings. And there is no the ghost or the ghost in capture one so I'm gonna click here none as well and I'm gonna click on merge and as you can see capture one has been running for a little bit and it just finished and now is uh, Lightroom's turn and it's finished uh, so it looks like Lightroom, it's a little faster, but no big deal. So we're going to click here, and this is the finished product from Lightroom. And now let's go back to 
and let's see this is capture one just by itself i haven't done anything i haven't touched any settings just did, did its thing and as you can see capture one does have a much better white balance uh correction right off the bat and um uh, lightroom does a little uh, it, it which is kind of annoying uh it does this little overly saturation and overly vibrance uh which we can double click here on this little guy and now we can just tone it down a notch and as you can see besides being that lightroom is a little brighter the the color is a little bit better now if we brighten it up a little bit then we can see that it matches more the capture one hdr dng file now one thing that i like about capture one is as you can see here the highlights and shadow recovery it's pretty out there And we go back to light uh, capture one the dynamic range it's not that much here and if we introduce more shadow recovery as you can see here and drop down the uh, highlights we can still have you know so much shadow recovery right here and then in Lightroom, as you can see, it's a little bit less shadow recovery than what Lightroom uh, Capture One does. Um, it also introduces, in Capture One, it also, it also introduces a, a lot more color. So we can drop down the saturation just a notch. And uh, as you can see, they both are very similar in the colors and in the brightness and shadow recovery. As you can see, um, Lightroom's shadow recovery is up 100. Highlight is up to 100. And Capture One is 100 in highlights. It's, let's make it 100 as well. And we compare them both. We can see that Lightroom is a little bit more saturated still, um, which obviously you can, you know, if if you, you sending this to a client, you you will work on it and make it more pleasing to the eye. But now let's zoom in and let's look at uh, shadows. and noise so here in Lightroom you can see a little bit of noise I'm gonna go down to detail and there's no noise reduction included there's sharpening that's just the normal sharpening that is defaulted in Lightroom and now let's go back to capture one and I'm gonna move the window here so you guys can see and I'm going to go to noise reduction is at 50 and I'm just going to turn it off and if we zoom in you can see a little bit of noise reduction as well just like in Lightroom so they both have a little noise and I mean it, it, it to me it looks exactly the same um, I can drop Lightroom's saturation just a little bit and as you can see it's getting there they both look exactly alike I wouldn't be able to tell which one is which one without you know 
somebody would just show me the photos, honestly. So this is great news because it makes Capture One an all-in-one editor like uh, for HDR because then if you're already in Capture One doing lifestyle photos or portraits um, and if you are a real estate photographer and you want to try Capture One doing HDR then uh, this is a great tool now because it does a great job and if we move up to here if we move to Capture One um, you know you have this photo that you can really play with and let's see let's focus let's here let's create a my color advanced I'm gonna click on the yellows for a little bit and then I'm going to just drop down the yellows just a tad Sorry about that. And you can just drop down the yellows just a little bit. And you can fine tune right here. The color editor in in Capture One is a lot better than, than uh, Lightroom, of course. And if you can see a before and after, you can see the yellow cast taken away um, from this shot makes it much better in Lightroom if you want to do the same you have to go to HSL click on this little guy and kind of just play with it and see until you like it um, but the, but you can see the difference between I'm gonna try to make it as you can see the difference between Lightroom and Capture One, how Capture One just does a much better job of getting rid of color cast, not only in, 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 in real estate photos like this, but in skin color and everything else. And let's say you want to bring back the color here in the in the um, floor you can just uh, erase I made it to his green I think I'm not doing it right there's something that I there we go and you can color back the orange so now you can see a lot of the yellow being affected to the walls mainly and not the floor and if you want to see the uh, mask right there I, you can change the masking from red to green or whatever colors. I, I prefer to use something like this because when it comes to skin color and and uh, houses, you know, using red was kind of annoying to me because there's so much red everywhere anyway, especially in skin. Um, but as you can see here, you know, it just neutralizes that yellow cast much better and obviously Lightroom is pretty good too but it's just not as good as Capture One when it comes to uh, color editing but um, yeah I am uh, I'm very happy with the uh, Capture One 22 HDR and um, I'm pretty sure it's going to they're gonna update to have HDR batch mode and that's gonna help a lot as well because a lot of people that I know 
do a lot of batch. They do, you know, real estate, which it doesn't take a lot of um, effort as if you're working with an architectural firm or, or a builder that they require more finesse in their photos. Um, but this is a great, this is great. I am very happy with it. And you can see we haven't even shopped in anything, but it, uh, as the default normally has a little bit of sharpening, but in this case, it doesn't even have any sharpening. And if we do sharpen a little bit in Capture One, little, uh, a little bit goes a long way. See? It's just not bad at all. Not better. And if you want to increase uh, the brightness, I prefer to use brightness than exposure. And, and then you go to the background and I can brighten it up a little bit more. compared to Lightroom because I haven't retouched it's just so nice to work in capture one sometimes just colors just pop and it's just better um, but yeah all right well this is it uh, this is my video and I hope you like it and if you have any questions um, just let me know in the comments I'm sorry I'm, I haven't really done videos in a long time so I'm not good at presentation and all that stuff but i will be happy to answer any questions and little by little there's a lot of uh capture one starting to pop out with their own videos on how to do it but uh i am an architectural photographer so this is my thing and i'm happy to see that capture one um has created HDR now merging in uh, their software because it is not bad at all. All right. Thank you so much. And um, that's it.